Well, the life expectancy of a homeless man in Manchester is 42 years old. There are probably a, between 100 and 400 homeless in Manchester. There's no exact figures. There is a chance that stuff can change um, and that's really what we're about is hopefully giving people who have kind of given up on life, given up on stuff ever changing. Um, we want to be a sign that actually things can change in people's lives, people's lives can be rebuilt um, and people who have felt completely lost actually can make a difference themselves. started in 1993 with a guy called Dave Smith going out to the streets with soup and sandwiches. That's how it all began really, from a seed. We put together food parcels for people in really, really emergency situations. So if their benefits have been stopped, if they're street homeless, if they're destitute asylum seekers. On top of that we do soup runs um, and they're on Friday evenings and Sunday evenings where we go out um, to Store Street, just behind the train station, um, and we'll normally, normally about 40, 40 or 50 guys there, um, and we'll give out soup, hot soup, tea and coffee, and sandwiches and biscuits, just enough to, to give people a warm something for the evening. In our warehouse, we have a whole section given over to clothing. When I was pregnant with my first daughter, uh, this is where I, I uh, had a lot of stuff to, for, my, for my baby because I could not afford to pay it in the shops. And we also have furniture. Um, now, if they're, if they're moving to accommodation, we'll give them a certain number of free items and then beyond that they get given grants which they can spend buying the rest of the items from our warehouse. So we have sofas, armchairs, beds, tables, wardrobes, chest of drawers, the whole, the whole range. It's been a big help. Yeah? Yeah, it has. I've moved into no money or no, so it's been a big help. I'm a recovering alcoholic who was on the streets of Manchester for four years and I came to the mustard tree where I was given help and I became a volunteer and from that day I've done nothing but look forward to coming to work and helping the mustard tree as much as they've helped me. We provide a work experience program so one of the, one of the biggest barriers for all sorts of people to kind of getting into a healthy way of living um, is actually regular employment which is useful obviously for income but it's really useful for actually that sense of worth of doing something meaningful. <laughs> Any way that you can help, I'm sure we'll find a place and a time and a way to, to take that help in. So, yeah, we would greatly, greatly need your help, so thank you.